Kennedy. I love talking about the Kennedy assassination because to me it's a great example of uh, a totalitarian government's ability to you know, manage information and thus keep us in the dark any way they deem. Oh, sorry, wrong meeting. Uh, <laughs> shit. That's the meeting we're having tomorrow at the docks. I love talking about Kennedy. I was just down in Dallas, Texas. You know, you can go down there and uh, to Dealey Plaza where Kennedy was assassinated. And you can actually go to the sixth floor of the school book depository. It's a museum called the Assassination Museum. <laughs> I think name that after the assassination. I can't be too sure of the chronology here, but anyway, they have the window set up to look exactly like it did on that day. And it's really accurate, you know, because Oswald's not in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Wow. Painstaking accuracy, you know. It's true. It's called a sniper's nest. It's glassed in. It's got the boxes sitting there. And you can't actually get to the window itself. And the reason they did that, of course, they didn't want thousands of American tourists getting there each year going. <laughs> no fucking way! I can't even see the road! <laughs> Shit, they're lying to us! Fuck! Where are they? There's no fucking way! Not unless Oswald was hanging by his toes. Upside down from the ledge. Either that or some pigeons grabbed onto him, flew him over the motorcade. Surely someone would have seen that. You know, there was rumors of anti Castro pigeons seen drinking in bars. Someone overheard them saying, coo, coo. Unbelievable. And you know what's wild is people's uh, attitudes in the States about it. Talking about Kennedy, people come up to me, Bill, quit talking about Kennedy, man. Let it go. It's a long time ago. Just forget about it. I'm like, all right, then don't bring up Jesus to me. <laughs> as long as we're talking shelf life here. Bill, you know, Jesus died for you. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Forget about it. How about this? Get Pilate to release the fucking files. Quit washing your hands, Pilate, and release the goddamn files. Who else was on that grassy Golgotha that day? Bill, it was just, the, you know, <laughs> taking over of democracy by totalitarian government. Let it go. <sighs> okay. Sorry. Back into the left. Back into the left. Back into the left. Back into the left. Which, by the way, that action you see Kennedy's head do in the Zabruder film, caused by a bullet. Coming from up there. <laughs> yeah. I know it looks to the layman or someone who might dabble in physics. This action here would have been caused by a bullet coming from, well, <laughs> up here. Did you see that? Did everyone see that? Yeah, but no. What happened was Oswald's gun went off causing an echo to echo through the buildings of Dealey Plaza. And the echo went by the limo on the left, up into the grassy knoll, hitting some leaves, causing dust to fly out, which 56 witnesses testified was a gunshot, because immediately Kennedy's head went over. But the reason his head went over is because the echo went by the motorcade on the left, and he went, what was that? 
So there. We have figured it out. Go back to bed, America. Your government has figured out how it all transpired. Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, here's American gladiators. Watch this. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. Here is American gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Watch these pituary retards bang their fucking skulls together and congratulate you on living in the land of freedom. Here you go, America. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you. Oh, good. Honey, I heard on the news that they figured out that the gun, what happened is that there is an echo and that Kennedy was uh, asking uh, Jackie what it was and that's why his head flew up. Honey, what time's Gladiator's on? Are we missing it? Woo, I'm so glad we're free, honey.